Textbooks had to be rewritten. Members of the public were outraged. Our understanding of the solar system itself was forever changed on August 24, 2006, when researchers at the International Astronomical Union IAU, voted to reclassify Pluto, changing its status from a planet to a dwarf planet, a relegation that was largely seen as a demotion and which continues to have reverberations to this day. Today, the debate about Pluto exposes difficulties in the definition of planet. The AU defines a planet as a celestial body orbiting the Sun, with a nearly spherical appearance and that has, for the most part, cleared debris from its orbital neighborhood. But even this set of metrics is not universally agreed upon. Earth, and even Jupiter, have not cleared many asteroids from their orbital regions despite their large size. Moreover, there are small worlds that are circular and that orbit the Sun and yet are not considered planets, such as Ceres. Pluto's so-called demotion from planetary status raises larger issues about how to define any object in the solar system, or even in space more generally. It shows that science cannot, sometimes, slot objects into easy categories. Because if the definition of a planet once again widens, it is unclear how to assess the numerous non-circular objects that circle our Sun. This may even put the asteroid belt into question, referring to the huge band of small objects between Mars and Jupiter. Or what happens if a planet is somehow broken up into pieces? All the same, as the Pluto debate took place almost 20 years ago, Many still don't quite understand all the fuss, nor why Pluto was knocked from its planetary position. But the solar system's transformation from nine planets to eight, at least by the standard YAL definition, was a long time in the making and helps encapsulate one of the greatest strengths of science, the ability to alter seemingly steadfast definitions in light of new evidence. The word planet, in English, stretches back to antiquity, deriving from the Greek word planetus, which means wandering star. The five classical planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, are visible to the naked eye and can be seen shifting in strange pathways across the sky compared with the more distant background stars. After the advent of telescopes, astronomers discovered two new planets, Uranus and Neptune, which are too faint to spot with the naked eye. Note that this definition of planet is following the Greco-Roman tradition on which the International Astronomical Union or YAL's community definitions are based. The names of planets vary by culture and the naked eye planets were observed around the world during antiquity. When astronomers discovered Ceres, today considered a dwarf planet, they initially categorized it as a planet among scientific communities of the day. But that began to change as further measurements showed it was smaller than other planets ever seen at the time.